I've taken it upon myself to build the ultimate overland trailer. I want to be able to take this thing off-road, go hunting or ice fishing, and still be able to move furniture or bring a four-wheeler around with me. This thing needs to be multifunctional. That is the most important goal of this build. I call this thing the truck box. I picked up a 2019 United XLE 5x8 enclosed cargo trailer. I will be using this trailer as the base of my build. The trailer is single axle and weighs roughly 900 pounds. Other than the fact that the previous owner undercoated the trailer, this is completely stock. Alright, so here's the trailer. Uh, it's just a little 5x8 trailer. Um, nothing fancy. There's no side door and it's just a single, I guess you'd call it a uh, barn door. Just finished taking off the, some trim. The holes for the vents and the walls. These have not been sealed at all. Fastening through of the enclosure of the envelope has not been sealed at all. You can see the roof rack uh, self toppers going through and I don't see any sealant so I'm probably going to have to take every single uh, screw out and reseal them. Uh, some, same thing with the light here, wire just goes right through. Um, so I'm going to take this apart and insulate it all and everything. I'm going to make sure that this thing is watertight. So yeah, I'm just starting to pull it apart so I can get some measurements to figure out how much uh, insulation I need. So, just finished taking everything out. I found the uh, leftover hole saw bit piece that was just lying in the wall. Yeah, so pretty bare bones. I'm not sure exactly what you call this metal section, but I'm assuming it's hollow on the uh, front side. It's kind of like a, a W. Yeah, so I have an inch there to work with on the walls. On the ceiling, I have an inch and a half. I think this wood here, this spacer is added so that the roof has some sort of um, convex shape to it so that water will drain off. Now if I go to the front, this curved section, it looks like we got an inch and a half again. I'll probably spray foam the corners and the, the bottom here where there's, there's gaps. And then on the flooring underneath, I'm probably going to do an inch and a half or two inches and sort of screw it to the OSB sheathing here. I'm gonna figure out what this rail system is. Uh, maybe I can do something interesting with that because I'd like to put flooring over it. Uh, yeah, so that's the update so far.